the next thing I'd like to take a look at is my um, aged accounts payable and receivable reports here. And if you recall earlier on, I already had ran a aged accounts receivable report. I automated this so it popped up every day in my inbox and I could review uh, accounts receivable each day. And so when I look at this, I see what's current, 30, 60, 90 days, and so on and so forth. And I can review all of the information about my customers here by running this aged accounts receivable report. One of the other things that I can do, and I would suggest that we would put this into this uh, report inbox also, is that in the payables area, I have an aged accounts payable. So I can run this. I have a posting an, edge, an, an age as of date that I can run here. Length of the aging period. So I want to see this 30, 60, 90 days. Print the detail. If I uncheck this box, all I get is summary information. But check the detail so I get it here. And when I preview this, this uh, will print out on the page for me here. And again, current 30, 60, 90 days. And uh, this is really nice. My payables are, uh, they're spot on. I've got a little bit that's in the, uh, the 30 to, uh, uh, the up to 30 day column. Nothing in 31 to 60 and my life is really good. So if I run this again and I take this posting date and I push this out to 226 and I preview this again, as you can see now, I'm starting to move these count. These numbers are now beginning to move out into the 31 to 60 day column because it's it's aging it every 30 days for me. And it's doing it based upon that date that I've set for it out there. And the last thing I would like to do is to, uh, if I were going to be managing uh, an area that included accounts payables, what I would uh, probably do is that I would pick this uh, print button and I would schedule this. And again, this lets me schedule this with a starting date and time. So I can put in my date and time as I did before. And I can put in an end date if I want to do this for a month. Uh, I can put an end date in. And after that uh, end date is exceeded, these reports will no longer appear in my report inbox. And um, so I, I would I would schedule it so that it, it, it actually appeared down here in my inbox for me every day. And when I come in in the morning, I, I have my aged accounts payable. I have my aged accounts receivable. I can take a look at it quickly and see if I have any issues.